it's going to be a little bit unlike most of the videos I do on here. And we're going to just talk about something that really I, I enjoy a whole lot. This past year, I was, I've been following baseball for a long, long time. I was a baseball fan. I probably started when I was a kid, probably about 1968, probably is when I saw my first game. I think my first game I ever saw was in Forbes Field in Pittsburgh. And then uh, dad and mom took us a couple games in Crosley, Crosley Field in Cincinnati. And, uh, of course, I saw a lot of games in Riverfront later on. And I know it, it makes me old. Uh, I'm not, you know, some of you going to say I'm older than dirt. I'm not older than dirt, but I will say we used to play together when we was children. But I've loved baseball for, for years. And I kind of got away from it a little while for all the strikes and all the steroids and all the foolishness that went on for a while. And I kind of got away from it and uh, got busy with life and working and things such as that. And you kind of get away from these things maybe just kind of forget. And uh, baseball was something I absolutely loved as a child. I made no secret of the fact that I would love to have been a major league ball player. I just wasn't good enough. And, uh, but that would have been my dream to have done that. It, it would have always been my dream growing up to have been a major league baseball player. Just one time to walk out on that field, major league field, and, and start a game <laughs> would have been great. But I didn't have the talent, didn't have the skills. I just didn't have it. I didn't have the talent or the skills, but I was always a Reds fan just from years ago. Shoot, I remember 1970 World Series, the 72 Series, the 73 uh, playoffs when we got beat by the Mets. I remember the 75 World Series, and, and finally we broke through and beat uh, Boston, won that series in seven games. And uh, uh, so many disappointments I'd had in 72 and in 70 and 71, uh, Brooks Robinson just passed away re recently, I think in the last week. Brooks Robinson broke my 11-year-old heart in 1970. Everything he done to the Reds, he just he destroyed the Reds team that game, that series. And I, I just, uh, I've never gotten over that. But uh, we experienced some losses there. It was hard to take, but the Reds finally came through and won in 1975. They followed again in 1976, and of course, I remember the 1990 World Series when a lot of people thought the Reds were going to get swept. Instead, they swept the uh, A's. So I've been a baseball fan a long time, but I will say that this year, I had followed them real hard last year, kind of really got back into it big last year, and they, it was a disappointing year last year. They had uh, 100 losses. It was it was embarrassing. They were terrible, and it was just it was supposed to be getting ready for a rebuild. And they were saying that that probably wouldn't be their year, and probably twenty twenty three wouldn't be their year either. Twenty twenty four would be the year that they would really maybe make a run at a a playoff spot. And then this incredibly bad early on. Of course, they were playing pretty much with the players they had had from. 2022 and uh then they started bringing him up they brought up matt mcclain who just i mean he's fantastic and and i've really got to like him he's probably he might be my favorite player on the reds team right now but they brought up christian and carson strand ellie de la cruz uh will benson well will was up from the season on will benson's a guy i thought all along when, when he was stinking it up, I said that this guy was going to be a star. And I just saw something in him, and I thought he was going to be that. A lot of people online, I, I follow a couple things on Facebook about the Reds, and a bunch of people told me I was nuts when he was stinking up the uh, park. But I had a hunch that guy was going to be good. Spencer Steer, TJ Friedel, uh, Joey Votto, Jake Fraley. I tell you what, I can't remember a year – uh, when I've enjoyed baseball a whole lot more than I did this year. It may be 1990 before I've had as much fun just following the baseball, uh, the Reds baseball team. It's been, it, it was fun all year. They were exciting to watch. My wife and I took in a couple games and, and I think about the most I had ever been to a Reds, uh, Reds games before that, probably, probably once, maybe a year. 
rarely I, did I ever go twice because of work and everything else, the other responsibilities I had. But I thoroughly enjoyed this season. They finished up 82 and 80. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's been a lot of fun for a Reds fan. And I uh, kind of got away from sports for a while when the these goofballs started kneeling during the national anthem. And I, I just pretty well got fed up with it. And I kind of gave up sports, kind of gave up uh, pretty well everything. And some of it had to do with the, when my dad passed away, sports didn't seem quite as fun for me anymore. And I kind of got back to it you know, as the years passed. And I realized that uh, sports was kind of the way I got away from being maybe a little bit uh, disturbed by what's going on in the country and politics and things such as that. And baseball and sports in general had been a kind of a way I got around, uh, got away from it. Of course, that got worse when they started uh, doing all that foolishness. And the truth is, sports was a way to get away from it, not to bring it home. I, I don't want my, I don't want that kind of politics in my sports. I just want to enjoy it, kind of, kind of get away from the news of the day and some of the things. And uh, I just thoroughly enjoyed. The Reds finished up eighty-two and eighty. They were in the race right till the last weekend of the season. And it, it was disappointing. I got to tell you, I thought they were going to be, make the playoffs. But even at that, I can't grumble about it. I had a lot of fun following that team this year. They they run. They, they're they exciting. They're, uh, they act like, well, they're kids. They got that childlike enthusiasm. Also, they make the mistakes that uh, non-veteran players make sometimes. And it hurts them sometimes. They win as many games as they lose because of youth. But. It's fun to watch, and it's fun to watch players having fun. Too many times you see baseball players and they and professionals, and they act like it's all business, and they play like it's business, and you don't seem like they see any joy in the sport. And my gosh, to be able to play Major League Baseball as an adult, a game that you loved as a kid, and get paid for it, I can't think of anything much greater that i can think of than that and and i don't understand why you don't pr play with that kind of youth enthusiasm and i like those that do and you've seen that this year with this reds team and i've really enjoyed it it's been a fun year i had a uh, just had a lot of fun watching this team and uh i'm looking forward to 2024 because i think this reds team's really going to be good next year but uh Anyway, I, uh, for those of you watching, uh, the, the keeping track, uh, I'm gonna I'm three months and fifteen days away from retirement. It's coming up, and I started this broadcast as kind of as a working author. I hope real soon to be a non-working author that's uh, writing books full time and and uh, doing this and and keeping you up with the events of the day. I'm, I'm looking forward to my time. To retire i'm excited about the possibilities and uh 2024 looks to be bright on my career and uh personal life and i'm really looking forward to it but uh i just thought i'd keep you up to date let you know what i'm doing this is a little bit different than what most videos i do here but i wanted to talk about something that really interests me and i spent a lot of time last weekend i was following them i thought they were going to make it and they just fell a little bit short but uh, it's been an exciting year watching them, and uh, it, they're fun. Uh, base, they actually made baseball fun for me again, kind of took me back to my youth and watching kids play and, and men play and playing with the enthusiasm of youth. That's a good thing to see, and I, I liked it, and I enjoyed it. And uh, so I'm going to back on out of here. I thank you so much for stopping in today. I'm going to take off now, head for the barn. Thanks so much. Catch you again soon. Bye now.